Hey, it's David Shelton, broker at Century 21 Advantage, bringing you another episode of Real Value. Are you ready to march forward? Boy, I know that this is welcome. The days are getting longer. Um, the snow, well, it'll end sometime, right? We're not exactly sure when. But we do know this, that with the melting snow comes a bunch of challenges. It's not only what you see above the ground, but up to five feet below the surface, that soil is frozen. In the real estate business, we've got signs uh, that we're still waiting to get out of the ground because they're like, they're in there. And it's gonna have to be two feet down of, of melting before, uh, of, of, that, of that frozen uh, soil melting before we can get those signs pulled out. So, and that's not just us, it's all over town. But uh, so we've got a, a number of conditions, road conditions, we're seeing potholes, um, happen as a result of the of the the freeze and thaw you may be seeing um, your sidewalk your walkway from your front door to your uh, garage or your garage slab um, kind of like hey what's up with that is it's, we've got a we've got an uneven garage slab now concrete will respond to all of this stuff so you want to make sure your drainage uh, it, with your downspouts on if they're going on to your concrete, you want to make sure that you keep that route diverted. And I would personally recommend, and it's the recommendation of a lot of, of, of contractors, that if, you're, if your downspouts are dumping onto your concrete, to go ahead and get a plan, get with the contractor, get a plan, and, and take that downspout down below the concrete and then out to an area in your front lawn, backyard, or whatever. Get it away from your foundation, away from your home. It'll save you a lot of hassle in the future. It'll keep your walkway uh, from cracking prematurely because of that frost heave and having that undue um, amount of moisture dumping right down that freezes up underneath, heaves up your concrete, and then you got to replace it. It's, it's, it's a hassle, it's expensive, and, and, uh, and, and it can be avoided by just simply taking that water from your downspout and then diverting it out. That's, that's one tip for your home, right where you're at, for both your, your walkway, um, your, your uh, sidewalk, and your concrete driveway. And then if you have a concrete patio in the back, same deal, right? Get the water away from your foundation, get it off of your concrete, get it out and where it can drain out properly. Tip number one for this week, it, and it's a big deal. It'll, it, it really will be a game changer for a lot of you. You don't want your guests walking up your walkway, slipping on their bum. Right, as a result of having that freeze and thaw at night, it's still getting below freezing. And that water that might be there or melting off um, could, could prove to be uh, uh, not only inconvenient, but really uh, injurious, right? So just keep that in mind. Uh, the other tip is, is for, as you get to travel on the roads, we're gonna have potholes, so just be aware, a little bit more aware. We're, I was talking to a friend, Graham, who, who manages a, a Graham Tire, here in town on 41st Street, great guy, by the way. If you have any car needs, you've got to go see these guys. Um, the, uh, the, the number of pothole uh, flat tires, like flat tires, uh, are, are just unprecedented uh, this, time, this year and this time of year, and, and even with new tires. New tires don't care. Uh, uh, it, it doesn't really matter if uh, it's a new tire or an older tire, a pothole hit at the right angle, at the right speed, can prove to be really um, tragic and, and cost you a lot of money. So be aware of the potholes, uh, be aware of that. And, and if, you're on, if you're on gravel roads, now this is something that, uh, you know, I came from California uh, and different environment, and totally this year they're getting whacked with snow though, and, uh, and cold weather, um, they're dressing in parkas when it's 60 degrees, and we dress in parkas when it's minus 20. But <laughs> so, but but anyway, the the um, gravel roads will get what's called a frost boil, and if you haven't searched that or encountered that, I would encourage you to jump online, do a little searching, and look at frost boils around your area in the road. Uh, it's something that you want to avoid because these things can be as big as three feet wide, and then a few feet or so deep. It, it's, it's a real phenomenon. So keep that in mind when you're driving on gravel roads, be aware of it. Um, and uh, I, I don't know of any alert 
uh, mechanism that's out there right now to alert you to frost boils or road conditions other than 511, oftentimes in any state in the United States will give you if, you, if you put in your route or you put in your, the road that you're traveling on, it'll give you any known issues uh, with, with everything from fog or dense fog to uh, road conditions. So that's a great, a, a great thing as well. That's year round, but particularly in this time of year when you've got freezing and thawing and the water coming out of the ground, there are road restrictions for weight. So a lot of times farmers are gonna be out or, or industry is gonna be out on, on roads. There are certain roads that can't be traveled on because of weight restrictions due to the frost coming out of the ground. The, the soil needs to firm up before um, travel can happen with heavy loads on these secondary roads particularly. So just a few tips as we spring forward, as we, as we go into spring, Things that you could use for your home, for traveling around town, for traveling out in the country, and uh, just for your overall safety. It's been a pleasure to bring you this information, and I look forward to seeing you next time on Real Value.